The Las Vegas Raiders are in a tough situation right now. The move to sign Jimmy Garoppolo when you know he has these injury problems, when you know he cannot even pass a physical right now, makes a lot of people think the Raiders aren't necessarily swinging for the fences this year. And now we have some clarity by the Raiders owner Mark Davis on Josh McDaniels, the head coach. His job security, is this a make or break year for him? Can he be fired if the Raiders go 0-3 again this upcoming season? During the regular season in early November, after the Raiders got defeated by the Jacksonville Jaguars, defeated by Jeff Saturday in the Indianapolis Colts, Jeff Saturday, a man who had never coached professional football before and getting blown out by Derek Carr's new team, the New Orleans Saints, Mark Davis had to come out and speak to the press. He had to go out there and defend his head coach because so many fans were calling for his head. And he went out there and said that Josh McDaniels will be the Raiders head coach for years to come. And this made a lot of people upset. And we've wondered if Mark Davis has maybe changed his tune after things got worse. And now that the Raiders missed out on the Tom Brady sweepstakes, we'll talk more about that in a little bit. But Davis wrote in a text to the Las Vegas Review Journal that Josh is our head coach and will be for years to come. Because Mark Davis was meeting with Josh McDaniels after all these devastating losses, people started speculating that maybe Mark Davis isn't sold on the guy. And he said all that speculation is false. And Davis had to continually do this because the Raiders kept on getting embarrassed and he said that Josh McDaniels will one day bring greatness to the Raiders. In an interview with Ed Graney, he said that he has no issues. As far as Josh goes, he has no issues, which is interesting that he doesn't specify Ziggler, it only specifies Josh McDaniels. He says he's getting to know him a lot better and when you sign someone to a contract, don't you expect them to fulfill the contract? I like Josh. I think he's doing a fantastic job. You have to look at where we came from and where we're going. And he basically said after the John Gruden 10 year contract, he said they did an exhaustive search and found genius Josh McDaniels, who he believes will bring greatness to the Raiders. So when he talks about fulfilling the contract, that makes you think about money. I've already paid this guy. I'm not going to get rid of him because we know those coaching contracts are fully guaranteed and you got to pay it even if you get rid of the guy. And in terms of the highest paid head coaches, Josh McDaniels sits tied at number eight with Kyle Shanahan at 10 million a year. We heard before that he has a four year contract so we still have three more years remaining including this one two years after it didn't seem at the time that Mark Davis would want to waste money getting rid of the guy and then things got interesting this offseason after a horrible season with the Raiders and Josh McDaniels blown double digit leads and then we all believe that the Raiders wanted Tom Brady Mark Davis has always wanted Tom Brady and it seems like he thought that Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler could be the vessel to help bring Brady as the Raiders quarterback and that did not happened and even the athletic has confirmed that Jimmy Garoppolo was the third plan the first plan was Brady second was trading up with the Bears for that number one overall pick and then the third option after those two things did not materialize was Jimmy Garoppolo but Davis in this offseason after free agency was very critical in some ways of general manager Dave Ziegler saying that Dave is young has never been in this position before and it takes time to learn all the tricks of the trade I think the people he confides in might not be giving him the full picture because it's so damn competitive. So it's making it sound like this guy is too much of a novice, that the people who are around him do not give him great advice, and that he's struggling as a young 45-year-old GM. And then we started getting more comments in an interview with The Athletic where Mark Davis clearly was distancing himself from Josh McDaniels, and in particular, Dave Ziegler, saying that they came in and basically made the decision on Derek Carr, decided that Jimmy Garoppolo is what they want to do this upcoming season. And then here's the real kicker here where he says, it's up to Dave really who is the GM to start putting the roster together and really putting this team together for the future. And then he says this kicker, for me, I hire people. One thing I know is what I don't know. I hire people that do know those things. I let them do their job. I give them vision and goals and let the results speak for themselves. So it made it sound like, hey, whatever ends up happening, ends up happening. I just hire people, making it almost sound like, hey, if it doesn't work out, can hire somebody else. But then in this same interview in late March, Mark David said something really critical that should really make you understand the expectations for the Raiders this year. He's saying from afar that maybe Ziggler and McDaniels did not know what they had and so they did try to pursue a championship with Devontae and Derek Carr. And so Davis said, did I think last year, 2022, did I think it was a rebuild at that time? And he said, no, I thought it was an opportunity to move forward again. But then he says, is it a rebuild now? And he says, I suppose if you're getting a new quarterback, obviously that's a big positional change and the fact is we still have holes on the defense. We need 
to fill. And then he says, so are we closer than we were last year? I don't know at this point. So right there, I mean, that's the closest that an owner could possibly get to admitting that there is a rebuild by just saying, I suppose it's a rebuild because we're getting a new quarterback. And now that we all know that it's a injured quarterback who has still not to this day, still has not passed a physical and still is not cleared to even practice. It does seem like it's a complete rebuild right now. So if Davis is making these comments, it seems like he is practicing a little patience. He wants him to fulfill the contract. He being Josh McDaniels. Yes, he's critical of Dave Ziegler and critical of everything that's happened right now, but still makes it sound like he's willing to let them build this team and do what they want for the duration of their contract. And now we have this big report from The Athletic, mainly the opinion of Vic Tafer when asked about Josh McDaniels job security. And I think what Vic Tafer has to say here is key because he is really clued into the Raiders. He's been covering them for several years. So even though this is just his opinion, I think he can sort of read the tea leaves and see what's going on inside the locker room. And based on all these comments that I gave you of Mark Davis since the 2022 season, I think it's all clear what's happening right here. So he was asked, hey, Josh McDaniels has gone out of his way to do all these big moves. Uh, how stable is JMD and his staff's job? And Mark Davis says he wants stability, of course. But if but if Josh McDaniels fails this year, 4-13, and 13, which would that be surprising at all at this point? No, I don't think any of us would be surprised. Even though he made his bed with this QB, Brian Hoyer, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Aiden O'Connell, you think this guy could be freaking fired at the end of the year for failing for two years in a row? Well, Vic Tafer does not think so. He says the record this year does not matter. It does not matter. Even though, you know, they want you to, you know, take the big flight over there to Vegas, even though they want you to spend all the money on these big ass tickets. Well, apparently, according to Vic Tafer, from his analysis being inside the locker room, being around the team for several years, freaking decades at this point, doesn't seem like the record matters this year and Josh McDaniels is going to be good to go. And Mark Davis has some patience now for him to build up the roster the right way. And we are in year two of a four year contract. And then he reiterates this point that we brought up earlier that Tom Brady was plan A, Jimmy Garoppolo was basically plan C, especially given the fact that they weren't able to draft one of the top quarterbacks. The top four quarterbacks were taken before their pick at pick seven, and they did not want to give up the farm just to trade up and get one of these guys. But then there's a sliver of hope here for those of you who aren't too sold on Josh McDaniels, which I think you know where I stand there. But hey, if they don't match at least this record of six wins, according to Tafer in his view, the fans may turn on McDaniels as if they haven't turned on the guy already. And then all bets are off because Mark Davis claims that he's a fan and he can get emotional. And I do have a sliver of hope for Mark Davis. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy to have hope in Mark Davis, but we've seen him make bold moves before. We've seen him when he first took over the team in 2011. Even though Hugh Jackson was doing fine, he decided to get rid of Hugh Jackson at the end of the year. And then Dennis Allen, even though Dennis Allen didn't even have a first or a second round pick for like two seasons, he still got rid of that guy after a few years in 2014. And Jack Del Rio, even though he had just taken the Raiders to the playoffs, and yes, the Raiders regressed in 2017, there was a lot of drama in the background during that season. Well, Mark Davis had no problem firing this guy immediately after the game, and the dude had an emotional press conference where he just got the news, never even had a conversation with Davis about it before being fired and then having to take the podium. And obviously, John Gruden was forced out, so it's not like he was fired. It's not like Mark Davis got rid of John Gruden, he probably would have kept the guy if the league didn't freaking sabotage him. But it really makes you wonder if Mark Davis could get too emotional. He says that he just hires people and lets them do their job. Yeah, he wants them to fulfill the contract, but he claims that he was not behind kicking out fans. Now, this fan here that is featured in The Athletic, we straight up had him on our show. We interviewed him. We could bring him on again if, if, he, if anybody would like. But he believes that Mark Davis was behind getting him removed. And look, dude, this is complete BS that Mark... You know what? I, I got to say it. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to rewrite the script. I got to say this right now. I cannot hold back anymore. Mark Davis, in my opinion, and Mark, you could come on this show and clear this up if you want. I know you watch the show. I know you, McDaniels, and Ziggler are all stress eating, tuning in to Wi Fi Willie. <laughs> Should I not say that? But about kicking out fans, even though I've interviewed this fan, I had another fan reach out to me. I had another fan get kicked out of a private little club event because he had an F McDaniels t shirt. Even though I got more fans that had haven't even come on the show yet, but have just spoken to me privately. But Mark Davis is trying to say that he would never kick out a fan. It pisses him off and he's getting killed by the stuff by the fan base because they don't know the truth. Well, guess what the truth is? Guess what the truth is, Mark? This man right here straight up told me after you kicked him out of the freaking Niner game, 
after you threatened to kick this guy out, he came back to the Chiefs game, which was the final game of the season, and security was all there, and security told this guy, according to him, that they were prepared for anti-McDaniels signs, and they were specifically looking for him, and they recognized him right away when he went to enter Allegiant Stadium and told him he better put that sign away. So I don't know, Mark, who's behind this. You're saying you're not doing that when your whole entire security on the final game of the season was organized around making sure there were no anti-McDaniel signs and were prepared to kick people out and tell them to put it away. So I know you probably regret it now because the fans are kicking your ass for it, but you did it. You did it. And if you didn't do it, you better find out who did. And so far, we don't know who did do it. And then you're trying to throw Marcel Reese under the bus, who recently stepped down. We don't actually even know why he stepped down, why he's no longer a part of the Raiders. He's a former senior VP. But now you're trying to pin it on him and say, oh, well, uh, I tried to ask him and he couldn't figure out. Mark Davis, you own the team. Why can't you figure it out? You can't figure out what is happening with your own team. How can we expect you to figure out how to make this team a Super Bowl contender if you can't even figure out who's kicking out your fans at your stadium? Kumbaya. I'm coming down. Okay, so guys, all right, you know, I got a little heated, but hopefully things turn around. Hopefully McDaniels ends up having a good season and hopefully Mark Davis, you know, gets tough. And if things don't work out, if we are four and 13, I don't want to hear this crap about, oh, well, we got to give him more time and all, you know, I don't want to waste the 20 million. It's already been two years. They made their roster moves. They've had two draft classes, two free agent classes. They made all kinds of trades. They made their bed. And if it does not work out this year, I think that Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler should not have the privilege of running this football team because there's tons of people who I think would do a better job. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We know training camp and preseason's right around the corner, so make sure you subscribe to this channel for more Raiders content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out. I hope you have a good one. <laughs>